Well, Jennifer Burns, she's in the Fox 13 Cafe, making two different dips for chips. Starting out with guacamole. Hi, Jennifer. Hi there. Hi, big Mexican food fans. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> Huge. Good stuff. <laughs> Love it. Well, wonderful. Well, I'm here with, with Jeff Alter, who is the executive chef of Costa Vida. Thanks so much for coming in and cooking with me. You're welcome. Thank you for having me, Jennifer. Now, two of my favorite dishes right here are, you know, the chip dunkers, if you will, pico de gallo and guacamole. And you're going to show us, and I'm going to help you here, how to make it fresh, how you can make it at home, but how we also, you know, how you serve it so fresh in the restaurants, everything from scratch, huh? Absolutely. Um, and both the pico and our guac are served at Costa Vida. Um, but they're so easy for the home cook to make as well. Okay. And they're really great ingredients. Well, let's get started here. Now, okay. you've got a little trick to you know, make it easy on people when you're doing the, guac, when you're doing the guacamole with Absolutely. the avocado. Okay. Just want to take your knife and run it lengthwise around the avocado. Okay. And it'll just open the avocado right up. Then how do you pop the seed out? I pop it out by just... A little twist there. A okay. little twist, and you can take it off and put it there. Good deal. And, and then, then we just scoop... With the avocado, spoon. yeah, right in. Now, Jeff, when you're looking for avocado in the store, what is a good tip um, on, how, you know, what do you want to look for, and what color, how, how, you know, how do you take it to where it's not overly ripe but just perfect? Uh, that's a great question. Um, what I like to do is they should be have a nice kind of a dark, um, firm but breaking texture, so okay. you can feel them kind of breaking. They're a little bit soft, but not so squishy. Okay. And so and that will leave us with a perfectly uh, ripe avocado that's really easy to smash. Okay, so I'm going to be smashing this up. We, okay. of course, already have some. Now, what are some of the other ingredients we're going to be getting into the so homemade guacamole? The other ingredients we're going to put in are some tomatoes, um, which I already have prepared. These are Roma, Roma tomatoes. Um, and so we're going to take a few of these and scoop them in. I love that freshness, that color, the flavor. Absolutely. And so this is about two tomatoes. Okay. Um, that's a good amount. And then we're going to also put in some a freshly minced uh, yellow onion. I like to use sweet onions um, so they're not so strong. Take and that. So pungent. just about uh, two tablespoons of onions. Um, and then the cilantro that you're cutting there, okay. which is the best, just nice and fresh. Love that. Um, and then some minced uh, jalapeno and serrano peppers. Okay. So just about, you know, a tablespoon or so. Um, and then some fresh lime juice. I'll get some of that. And you okay. got some zest over there as well. I do. And so uh, a real trick with the with limes, um, if you have a lime zester, you can just kind of hold the, the lime like this. And with your thumb, just kind of. Oh, perfect. And you can get those tools in any culinary store with the zester. You can even get them in the grocery store. All right. And then and with salt, it's that easy? It is that easy. All right, Jeff, that's, this is looking good. Now, do you suggest putting this in the refrigerator for a little bit, or is it good to go? I think it's good to go. Okay. It will, um, you know, peak and be good for about an hour. Okay. But it will start to, um, you know, turn. So All right. So with avocados, you know, just uh, that's what make it and go. Yeah. yeah. It's, all right, well, I'm going to taste this with the homemade chips that you Please bought do. in from Costa Vida. And guys, we're going to be bringing this in and sharing it. But before we do, we'll make the uh, pico de gallo on the next segment. 